Preparatory work. The installation site should be free from dust. Keep dry and ventilated. Check whether installation tools and terminal accessories are complete. Check whether cable accessories match correctly. Straighten and sew both ends of the cables to be connected. Stripping. Stripping the outer sheath of the cable according to the length of the installation instructions. Build of the outer sheath, long end 1300 mm, short end 750 mm. Both ends of the steel armor, 30 mm, and the rest. and both ends of the inner sheath, 100 mm, and the rest. Remove the filling, filling in reserve, three-phase separation. Measure the length of A plus 18 millimeters and mark it with PVC. Peel off the copper shield and peel off the semiconductive layer according to the length of the installation instruction. Figure 1A. When peeling the semiconductive layer, be careful not to hurt the insulation layer. The end of the semiconductive layer is chamfered with a tool to smooth the transition between the semiconductive layer and the insulating layer. Sand the surface of the insulation layer with fine sandpaper. Be careful not to polish to a semiconductive layer. Polish the remaining steel armoring surface and clean the outer sheath.
Polish the outer sheath and inner sheath. Cut the insulation layer by adding 3 mm to the 1 second length of the connecting pipe. Remove the burr at the end of the insulation layer and clean the insulation layer off the cable. Insert the long peeled end into the coax shrink joint buddy according to the pulling direction, marked in figure 2. Install coat shrink connect tube. Insert the connecting pipe and press it. Press it from the middle of the connecting pipe to both sides. After crimping, file the edges and burrs on the joint pipe and clean the joint pipe. Wrap semiconductive tape on the connecting pipe. Make the main insulation at both ends consistent with the outer diameter of the connecting pipe. Smooth transition and fill the gap between the connecting pipe and the main insulation. Measure the dimensions between the insulated ports. Find the center point and measure 300 mm from the center point to the shorter end of the strip to locate the calibration point and mark it. Install coat shrink buddy. Clean the surface of insulating layer with cleaning paper and apply silicon paste evenly after the detergent dries. Measure 15 mm backward from the semiconductive layer incision and mark it as the contraction anchor point of the coat shrinkage main body. Align the main body joint with the contraction anchor point. Put out the support strip to make the main body shrink. And immediately calibrate the distance from the center point of the main body joint to the size checkpoint after the joint shrink more than 50%.
Wipe off the remaining ends of spilled silicon paste. Clean the semiconductive layer at both ends of the middle connector with fine sandpaper and wrap the waterproof tape. Winch the copper nut around the installed joint body. Fix the grounding wire and the copper nut on the copper shielding layer with a constant force spring. And wrap PVC tape around the constant force spring. Waterproofing and sealing treatment. Three phase close finish. Restore the filling. Fixed with PVC tape. In a wide PVC tape in a semi lap way, integral winding. Wrap the waterproof tape around the inner sheath of the cable and wrap the waterproof tape from one end of the inner sheath to the other end of the inner sheath with half lap. The steel plate at both ends of the cable is connected with a ground wire and fixed with a constant force spring. and PVC tape is wound around the constant force spring. Wrap the grounding wire around the inner waterproof tape with PVC tape. Wrap the filling glue around the cable sheath and the constant force spring to fill the gap. Wrap the waterproof tape from one end of the outer sheath to the other end of the outer sheath with half lap and lap 60 mm with both ends of the outer sheath respectively. When winding, the direction should be opposite to that of the inner waterproof tape. Install armor straps. Wrap the armor belt in half lap mode exceeding the waterproof tape by 50 to 100 millimeters.
Secure the end armor strap with PVC. Wait until the armor band has solidified before moving the cable. Installation finish. Clean up the side. Thank you for watching.